back to my channel my name is Shamika if you are new and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I care for my natural tresses under my wigs so I was about to take my hair down and then I was going through my YouTube videos and I realized that the last time that I filmed a video like this was almost a year ago so I wanted to give you guys um an update on my process because that video got a lot of um because that video it got a lot of comments it got a lot of attention and um you guys gave me a lot of advice some that i did take and some that i didn't so i wanted to um just show you guys my updated routine since i am about to take my hair down um this these braids have been in my head since the week of thanksgiving i'm not sure the exact date but since the week of thanksgiving and it's now january 20 something so around two months and this is all the new growth i have um i have a lot it's more in some places than others but um yeah i'm ready to take my hair out i have a hair appointment it isn't for another two weeks or so but i still just wanted to get my hair out to give it an opportunity to breathe because i'm tired of looking like this this is how i walk around the house when i don't have a wig on and I'm just really tired of looking like this. So I want to let my natural hair come out and breathe a little bit. I wanted to show you guys the oil that I've been using while um, my braids have been in. Now, I haven't been consistently oiling my hair and doing what I need to do with to it. That's just, it's just, I don't know, it's hard. Like, typically, I would like to oil my hair once a week. But with life, the way it's set up, I probably oil it like once every two to three weeks, maybe four so this is the hair oil that I was using. This is the um, Farabella Get Up and Grow Hair Growth Oil. And I really, really like this oil. I really love the container that it comes in. It's a really large eight fluid ounce container. Um, it has all of the um, ingredients system on the back. And it's a black owned business. So a really good reason to go out and support and purchase this oil. It has everything from extra virgin olive oil to grape seed oil, castor oil, pumpkin seed oil, henna oil, coconut oil, onion oil, garlic. <laughs> like every oil you can think of is in this um, hair growth oil. And it doesn't have a really bad smell. I love that it has a top. So I really, really do love this oil. I would really highly suggest that you guys go out and purchase it. If I can um, find the website, I will link it down in the description box. So let's just get into... The process of me taking this hair out y'all my hair is jacked <laughs> like i'm gonna show you out the back even though i really don't want to because i'm ashamed but i'm gonna show you out anyway my hair is so jacked up it's so dry but this is what the back is looking like i know it's real rough back there but we about to get it together so um stay tuned so in my last video when i was taking out my hair i got so many comments of people talking about oh my god i'm cringing i can't believe she's taking her hair right like that oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm call the police this has to be illegal like y'all going crazy and i'm just like it's my head but y'all did leave some helpful hints that I could use for when taking my hair down that I really did appreciate and I did start to incorporate. So, you know, take the good with the bad. Y'all said that I should use aloe vera. And so I've been using aloe vera. Like I said, it's been a year since that video went up. So I've had braids come and go many times since then. But I've been using aloe vera gel to take my braids out. And even though y'all hate me using the skinny comb, I still use a skinny comb because I like the tip to go ahead and help take my braids out because my nails are always typically long. And then I do have a large comb. So I use the large comb to detangle so y'all can keep y'all panties in a bunch. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see how I do it. And then I'm gonna just take down a few braids on camera in real time and then I'll fast forward the clips. So let me turn around.
right. So I did just want to come out here real fast and point out that I did want to come out here really fast and point out. I mean, come come back and point out the fact that the aloe vera, like um, using the aloe vera to take my braids out, does actually help a ton. It helps with the slip, so that I'm not just like yanking through my hair. So I really do appreciate you guys recommending that to me because that has been super helpful. Like as you can see, I'm just gliding, what I was, <laughs> gliding through. It, it is very helpful. And um, as you can see, I just, Use the bottom, the pointy end of the comb until I get till I get to the base of the braid. And then once I get to the base, I just use my fingers and per each braid, I'll probably go back in and apply some aloe vera once or twice. Just depending on how rough and dry my hair feels. In that braid so it really just depends but I just take some like such and I just rub it on said braid and then just continue to make my way up uh, I'm expecting my hair to share a ton because I haven't been taking care of my hair with this set of braids um I haven't been oiling it, so I know it's extremely dry. I haven't been um, sleeping with the bonnet on, so I know that it's going to be just just a lot of dead hair. Like this last set of braids, I I honestly have not taken really good care of my hair, so we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and um, speed things up though for you guys and we'll get to the end. sure more is going to come out um, once I wash and blow dry it. But this is what my hair is looking like. This is obviously isn't the true length. Because the aloe vera gel, um, you know, it has water in it so it shrinks my hair up. But this is what we're looking like. So I'm going to put um, my hair back in my two pigtails. And wash it. I like to wash it in sections. I don't like to wash it like all together. So it'll just be a mess. So I'm gonna wash it in two sections. Um and I'm gonna show you guys my shampoo and conditioner I use. I use the same shampoo and conditioner I've been using it for years now. The RC Moist. And 
I've been using this forever. It's really good for dry hair. And my hair is plenty dry. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash and condition my hair. Then I'll come back and um, show you guys. It blows right out and the finished product. I know my arms are gonna be killing me when it's time to blow dry, but right, guys, I'm back from washing my hair. And this is what we looking like. Looking a little crazy, but we're about to get it together. Um, I had to sit up in this chair because my back was killing me. Um, so I'm gonna have to blow dry my hair. I would normally at this point put in some leave-in conditioner, but I guess I don't have any. Um, I was looking for my leave-in. I use a RC leave-in conditioner, same as my shampoo and conditioner, but I guess I'm all out. So, I'm just going to blow dry my hair with no product in it. Um, I do want to show you guys my blow dryer. I don't know if I showed it to you all before, but this is the blow dryer I use. I got it off of Amazon a while ago. I don't think I had it in the last hair videos that I showed you all. So. Let me show you all. I really like it because it has a comb attachment. So it makes my job a whole lot easier. This is what it looks like. I think it was like 20 or 30 dollars on Amazon. Not expensive at all. This is the attachment and then it also comes with another attachment. Um, that's just like a funnel at the end. So I do, I did want to point out that, um, I did lose a little bit more hair when I was washing my hair in the shower. About a ball. It was wet, so about that much while, while wet. Um, and I also want to point out that when I wash my hair, I don't really like to use a ton of shampoo. So what I do is I, I do a co-wash, then I wash the shampoo and then I condition and um, when I wash the shampoo, I really focus the shampoo on my scalp. I tend to like not really try to focus it on my hair shaft as much. That's just something I do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just get into those lines. I'm excited to see how much my hair has grown. I know it's grown a lot, but I know my ends are going to be so split. So, I'm going to face this way because this is what my mirror is. Mm. Yeah, let's get started.
No. All right, guys. So we're all blow dried out. And it was so quick and easy with my blow dry. I love my blow dryer so much. I was going to get like the super expensive, like chi um blow dryer, like the handheld one that you just do like this. But I'm so happy that I got this one because it gets the job done immaculately. Immaculately. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Real quick, real fast, real easy, and I'm always satisfied with it. So I'm gonna show y'all my hair. This is what it's looking like. I think it's grown a lot since I um last showed you guys my natural hair. I think it's I think it's grown a lot, especially because it's not um straightened, it's just blow dried out. So this isn't really the true length yet. I do know I need to get my ends clipped, but that probably won't happen for a while. Hopefully right before the summer I can get it done. Um, so yeah, this is what it's like. These are my natural tresses. Um, I'm really happy with my hair growth. I'm really happy with the tips that you guys gave me as far as the aloe vera gel. Um, and using a wire tooth comb, I do feel like it does help me lose less hair. So thank you to the people who did suggest that. Um, as you can see, I use aloe vera for a lot of things, not just my hair. So thank you for that suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And it's really helped my hair a lot. Um, that's all for the video, guys. I'm going to see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.